I hope for Arsenal's sake, not Arteta's sake, because I, I don't give a damn about Mikel Arteta. I hope for Arsenal's sake, we do come out of this smiling. Because this is a very, very, very big, dangerous move that we are making. Channel TV here. Kanebi, representing the Arsenal family transfer news, or should I say a whole summary of the transfer window. I'm still shaking my head. I'm still... First things first, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and watch the other videos too. Back to the Arsenal. I'm still in shock. I still can't believe we allowed our best striker since God knows when, to go and we haven't replaced him. This is the best chance to make top four since God knows when. We have a chance to compete for that top four spot. We weaken this team. We let go of Niles. We let go of Chambers. I don't really care about Chambers. We let go of... Um, who else did we let go of? We let go of Abumayang. Wow. Mari, I'm still baffled by the fact that Arteta still made this decision. Knowing how January transfer market is, knowing the nature, the climate of the January transfer window. Now, today Abomayan came in, in case if you're watching this video right now, you'll be yesterday or whenever, but Abomayan came in in his press conference and said he was happy at Arsenal. He was okay. He had no problems with anybody, but the problem was Ateta. Saliba, Genduzi, Torreira, for God knows why. I don't know. This is a similar pattern. Are we? Do we have a coach who runs this team based on his egotistical emotions or he wants the best for this club? Because this is the business end of the season. This is the second half of the season. This is the period where every point is like gold. Every point is gold. You can't even, you can't even afford to fuck it up. And what does he do? He weakens the team without replacements. I don't really know what's going on. I don't really get it. I know right now the LA Rams are in the playoffs of the Super Bowls. The Cronkies are more focused on that. The Americans, they grew up watching an American, they grew up watching American football. They are more passionate about it than Arsenal. Let's be honest here. So they gave this man 150 million in the summer. Even if he went to America, they must have told him, look, we've given you money. You said this was enough. We've given the best, they've given what we can do, or we've done to our best of our abilities. It's left for you to figure the rest out. We fully back you. Take, take whatever decision you want to do. You want to, you want to, you want to kick out Abumayang. Kick him out. You want to kick out um, Pepe. Kick them out. Kick them all out. Do whatever you want to do. But we're not dropping. You, we're not giving you any money. Maybe to you reduce the wage bill. Now they've reduced the wage bill. They are trying to save money. They have turned. I thought that was going from a manager to an accountant. What is the point? The point is to get results on the football pitch. Lacazette and Eddie in Ketia have two goals in open play between them. These are the people we are going to rely on till May. Unfortunately, I was very, very optimistic. Or should I say, fortunately, I was very, very optimistic November, December when we started getting those good results. But now it's looking like 7th, 8th with this team. With this team. I don't really know what's going on. Like I said, I, I don't know what's going on. But it's a big gamble. It's a big risk. And I hope, I hope for Arsenal's sake, not Arteta's sake, because I, I don't give a damn about Mikel Arteta. I hope for Arsenal's sake, we do come out of this smiling. Because this is a very, very, very big, dangerous move that we are making. It's can it be for Tunnel TV? Arsenal transfer summary here. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button. Like, watch the other videos. Thank you very much. <laughs>